we have all seen the classic Universal uh, monster movies, and if by some rare, weird chance you never have, you know the names. Dracula, Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, Bride of Frankenstein, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, my personal favorite, The Wolfman, and many more. We all know these characters, and they're completely ingrained in our culture. I remember uh, back when Simon and I were kids, um, I remember my dad recording every Friday night, ABC, our local ABC channel, they would air two different horror movies after midnight. And the next day, Simon and I would watch them with our dad. And to this day, we both still remember our first time seeing Frankenstein, uh, The Invisible Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Wolfman, Bride of Frankenstein. And even at that young age, we were fixated on each movie and asking our dad questions about it. And I'm sure you probably have a similar story you can relate. Now, Universal, over 90 years ago, took a huge, huge gamble to save an almost bankrupt studio with acquiring uh, these characters and producing movie adaptations. Now, the gamble was is that they had no idea how audiences would react. This was back in the 30s. The horror genre was almost non-existent, except for, I think, some few exceptions. But no moviegoers saw a movie like this before with the special effects, the acting, the music, how it was put together, and the gamble paid off, saving and solidifying Universal as a prominent studio in Hollywood. They made their landmark on pop culture, and today I think we take these movies for granted, but without them, we wouldn't have movies like, like Halloween or any other horror movies you, we know of today. Dracula, Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, and The Wolfman were the first four out of the gate and truly are icons of Hollywood. Not just uh, in, in the horror genre, but in filmmaking and establishing these films uh, as a staple of the movie-going experience. So let's talk about these new 4K UHD releases. So I have to admit, I could not wait to get this release from Universal, and I, I mean, I knew to keep my expectations low, um, being that these movies are 80 to 90 years old and shot on antique equipment and antique film stock, nitrate film stock, it, these movies were never meant to have images in high resolution. And my biggest question was how does one upgrade the resolution to 2160p and including HDR without destroying the film's original intended look and without it being flooded with artificial uh, digital noise and would all the imperfections even show up more than on the blu-rays well I'm happy to say that Universal accomplished the almost impossible task giving each film a gorgeous upgrade with 4K UHD 2160p and presented with HDR10+. Now comparing the Blu-rays with these 4K UHD, the overall enhancements, honestly, they're subtle. They're not a huge improvement, but they're also very noticeable. With the added cleanup, there is now not a nick, not a mark or scratch or any kind of debris on these transfers that plague the Blu-rays. Each film has vibrancy and contrast that has been given a nice boost, and the overly bright whites and crushed blacks are gone. Now it's a beautifully structured with inky blacks and, and refined whites, making the grayscale look even better than before. However, you can't expect 100% perfection. And the biggest problem I found more so is with Dracula and Frankenstein. And the biggest complaint I have is with the grain structure. It's much more noticeable than on the Blu-rays. And with the 2160p resolution, solid blacks in both Frankenstein and Dracula can look rather snowy at times. But again, I think that's something you just have to expect. And it's just something that's just a trade-off. You pay for more clarity, you get more grain. That's just how it is. It's not to say that these are bad transfers. The two films do sport a lot more depth, much more sharper shadows and details and silhouettes, lesser black levels, and more pronounced uh, between the light and darks. A uh, big stat out is with the first close-up shot of Bela Lugosi as Dracula, the most famous shot in the film. And again, at the climax with the close-up of Helen Chandler, these shots are just breathtaking. 
And likewise with Frankenstein, it has much finer, sharper background details. The lab looks much cleaner and sharper. So while Dracula and Frankenstein are both worthy upgrades from the Blu-ray, I was still distracted by, as I said, the higher grain structure and some noise um, that you just can't avoid. However, when I popped in The Invisible Man and The Wolfman, that is when I was 100% sold on this 4K UHD upgrade. The opening titles of both films pops with uh, depth and dimensionality, and also has a slightly higher grain level, but it allows the mats and the painted backdrops to look much more seamless than before. And all the groundbreaking special effects look much more detailed and defined than the Blu-rays. For each film, the UHD transfers may not meet all your heavy expectations, but they do put right that was wrong with the Blu-rays. Each film looks stunningly beautiful. The audio, however, did not get an upgrade. Instead, we have the same audio tracks that was on the previous Blu-ray releases. So I'm giving Universal's Classic Monsters four icon films, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, Wolf Man, uh, 4K UHD release of five out of a five. And is a class on how to restore old movies like this from the 30s and 40s in a 4K UHD format. I want to thank uh, Universal for sending this to me to review. Again, sorry I got it out late. Um, I've been down with a cold. And uh, as always, guys, keep doing your part in supporting physical media, keeping it alive, and we'll see you next time.